first thing I want to go over is the ribbon display options. In other words, if you want more space vertically and you don't want to see the ribbon at all, maybe the commands or the tabs or both, then come up here, as I briefly went over in the Excel 2019 introductory training video, and click on ribbon display options, and the default is to show the tabs and commands. If you want to go ahead and just show the tabs, click on it, the commands disappear. So when you're working in your spreadsheet here and you want to be able to execute a command from the ribbon, just come up here, click on it, it pops open for you to go ahead and click on a command or click off, and, and then it closes back up. So you can either go ahead and do it that way, and let's come up here and go back to show tabs and commands, or as a shortcut, you can just double click on the tab, any one of these tabs, and it collapses, then double click to bring it back up. Or come over to the far right and you get that little angle pointing up. You can see when I hover over it, it'll collapse the ribbon. Or you can use the shortcut keys, Control F1 to collapse, Control F1 to expand. And then the last option, let's click on it, and it's to hide everything. Click on it and you're totally destroyed. It's all gone. You're going to have to reinstall Excel. No, I'm kidding. To be able to bring it back up when you're working in your spreadsheet here to run a command, then just come up to the top of the screen, tap it, it brings the green bar up, click on the green bar, and there you go. It pops open for you to go ahead and click on a command or click off, and then it closes again, or it hides. So let's come back up here, tap the top, click on it, and let's go back to the way it was, show tabs and commands. Next, I want to show you how you can customize the ribbon. So for example, on the Home tab, you've got all these commands. Well, what if you've got some additional commands you'd like to add to it? Well, you can't add them to the default groups here, but you can add an additional group and add your commands to that on the Home tab. And if the Home tab gets too crowded, you can actually remove some of these groups, or all of them. Or better yet, you can actually add your own custom tab with commands on that tab, like a tab with your name on it. That sounds pretty fancy. To do that, let's go ahead and right-click anywhere on the ribbon and go down to Customize the Ribbon. And it brings up the Excel Options, which you can also access by going Backstage, File to Excel Options. Once here, you want to select the Customize Ribbon, but because we did it by right-clicking on the ribbon, it takes us right to it. You can see there's a list of, well, the popular commands you can add to the tabs. And if you want to be able to see all the commands, click on the drop-down arrow and choose All Commands sorted numerically then alphabetically and then over to the right before we add any commands let's break this down well you have your tabs that have these boxes that are checked and those that aren't checked aren't being displayed so new to excel 2019 is the draw tab let's go ahead and see that and let's uncheck all these others i know it's horrifying but because i use those others but I want to show you, and Developer. So what I'm going to see here when I click OK is just the Developer tab, the Draw tab, and the Home tab. Why would I see the Background Removal tab or the others that are checked? Well, that's proprietary to whatever I'm working on at the time, that it'll pull that up. And since I'm not working on Background Removal, it's not going to pop open. But if I was and I unchecked it, it wouldn't reveal it. So before I go ahead and click OK, and obliterate all the other tabs and just show the three, the home, the draw, and the developer. Let's go ahead and customize one of these tabs, like the default home tab. So if I want to go ahead, let me expand the clipboard group. You can see it's right there. And I want to be able to add a command to it, so I select it, and I come down here, and I select the command, and I click Add. It says, you can't do this. you got to create your own custom group. All right, I can do that. So... To add a custom group to the Home tab, I can go ahead and come down here and click on New Group. And there it is. Now, it's a generic name, so if you don't like that name, then go ahead and click on Rename. And instead of New Group, how about something fancy? Well, you can type in your name, but I prefer something fancy. And then you can choose a symbol that represents that group. So as you recall in the previous training video, when you right-clicked on a group to add it to the Quick Access Toolbar, it chose a symbol from that group to represent it. Well, here you can go ahead and choose a symbol like, hey, we're always happy here at Dreamforce, so we choose a happy face and click OK. So there's the name of the group, and it's coming right after the clipboard group, but before the font group. And you can go ahead and rearrange this by clicking on the up arrow. And so now it goes clipboard group, then font group, and then it'll be my custom fancy group. Or, better yet, we can select it if I don't use that group at all, and it's just annoying gets in the way, and remove it. I know this is even more horrifying because I use almost 
well, I use all of these groups, but I want to make a point. So we only have three tabs that are going to show, and on the Home tab, we only have two groups, the default group, Clipboard, and my Fancy group, which doesn't have any commands on it, but let's go ahead and add a command. So with it selected, I'm just going to come over here and just choose something, click Add, and Add, and so you can see you can add commands there. And how about we add one more tab, a custom tab. We got a custom group on a default tab. Let's go ahead and add our own. So instead of just three tabs, we'll have four. So let's go ahead and click on New Tab. And well, there you go, New Tab. Eh, that's generic. Let's go ahead and rename it, call it something else, and call it my Spiffy tab. Because hey, everything we do here at Dreamforce is spiffy. And click OK. And then by default, it gives you a generic group name, and you can rename that and call it something also spiffy, or just say it's going to be my format group. And then choose a symbol to represent that, and then click OK, another happy symbol. Or maybe I want to rename it again and maybe do something different. So when I add it to the Quick Access Toolbar, I don't have two happinesses on there for my fancy group. And this one right here, the formats, uh, let's just scroll down. Oh, a butterfly, sure. Click OK. And then let's go ahead and add some commands to this group here, and we'll just scroll down and, well, I'm just going to start pulling because you'll find what you're looking for, and you just have to add it there, add it there, and add it there. And you can add additional groups, so we can have two groups on here. Let's go ahead and click on New Group, and then you get the idea rename it to something different, and then choose, oh, a bell, OK. And then go ahead and add some commands there, add and add. All right, are you ready? We did a lot of work here, so I'll go over it after we click OK. Oh, wow, look at that. OK, so we got the Home tab, we got our default group that we didn't change, and then we added our Fancy group. And when I right-click in a blank area to add that to the Quick Access Toolbar, it adds a happy face. Oh, I'm happy. And then we have our own custom tab, Spiffy, and we've got the Format group, and then we have the Different group, and when I right-click on one of those, to add that to the Quick Access Toolbar, you got the butterfly that represents the group, and this one is going to be the bell. So when you're on any other tab, and you want to be able to access that group without going to the other tab, click on it. That way, hopefully, you can cut down on some extra clicks when most of the commands that you use is going to be on the Home tab here. Let me go ahead and click off. Now remember, new to Excel 2019 is the Draw tab. Ooh, that looks fun. We'll have to go over that later. And then we got the Developer tab. That, by default, isn't displayed. Now, if you're thinking to yourself like I am, I totally destroyed my work. How do I reset this back to the way it was? Well, let's go ahead and right-click anywhere on the ribbon to customize the ribbon. And down below, for the reset options, you get two. You can reset only the selected ribbon tab or all customizations. So if I come up here and I'm like, I'm good with everything else but the Home tab, I really got to have everything back to the way it was. Select it. Reset it and only the selected tab, click OK. Everything's still up there, except the Home tab, removed my custom group, and put it back to the way it was. Fabulous. OK, how about resetting everything? Oh, and then you notice up here it got rid of that icon because that custom group is now gone. So if I right-click anywhere on the ribbon to customize it again, and I reset all customizations, it lets me know it's going to delete all ribbon and quick access toolbar customizations for this program. Yes. And then you can go ahead and click OK. And it's back to the way it was. I don't have those groups. I don't have the draw or the developer tab. And I've got my other tabs back. Whew, that was close. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.